that's what I get you yeah. see. That's, I get a lot of that. I'm enjoying the, the, the learning about my, me and my swing, do you know what yes. I mean? Rather than trying to give it P this, P5, yeah, trying to learn that, it's like, when do I ever know when I'm in P5 or not? Exactly. Do you know what I mean? I don't, so I don't. You didn't think about that on those two no, shots? No, exactly. It's trusting that the arm's just swinging and reacting to the body. Yeah. Yeah. Not physically trying to use your arms to swing the club and control it and manipulate it. It's just a natural flailing action. Suddenly, it opens up. All sorts. Exactly. That's it. That. The best, that's the best one. That's better than the one they hit the flag with because you let the swing go more. What's happening is this club is reacting. Yeah. The forces that you train for the feet. Leave me alone, leave me alone with the pint and the pen and the pine and the one thing. Nothing I release, two bangers of beat, the board of being a free, fell a couple floors, landed on my feet. So, how are you with the game then, Renette? What's. Yeah, where are you at today? I'm, uh, like I said, uh, the swing, swing, uh, it's, it's, it's a work in progress, that. Yeah. I've got a lot to go off, you know, with a lesson and stuff like that. It's still a lot, you know, I'm working on that one in that lesson, so, and I can I can draw and fade it. That awesome. Also, Easily, do you know what I mean? Oh, whether it goes to where I want it to all the time, that's you know, it, it doesn't. But like I said, I'm working with like, it's more like, like I say, I have a little bit of a look at the short game if it's possible in this weather. Do you know what I mean? Look at the short game 50, 50 yards, 30 yards, and then do you know what I mean? That sort of stuff. If we can have a look at that today, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, you know, the swing, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm going to use the board a lot. I take the board every time we go to the game. Just awesome. bought that. I've got a med ball as well, I take. You go down yeah. like that with a lot of gear like that. You need a, you need a buggy going to go out there sometimes. <laughs> Entourage, yeah. Broke 80 once as well over the winter. Awesome. Which, well, I've done like 16 shots around the course, do you know what I mean? So it's. Yeah, it's the game, the game's good. I'm looking forward to the summer to be honest. Definitely can get down to 9 or 10 this year, I think. That's, that's the aim anyway. Let's hit a few shots then, so we'll have a look at the swing, and then we'll, we can do some short game as well. Oh, beauty. What a shot. When you pull that shot out of the bag and you get 17 yeah. shots. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a joke, yeah, it's a bit of a joke really, but it's, it's I mean, we, we, we drew my uncle, my two uncles in the round before. Did you? Battered them four and three, and they're like, it's embarrassing this, lads. <laughs> what do you want us to do? Go to the handicap committee and start saying, take shots off me, it's not going to happen, mate. The strike's awesome. Yeah, yeah well, that, that's what, meant, if you remember correctly, last, yeah. the last time, it was about the strike. The strike is, you know, it's improved loads. Oh, yeah, 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 the feel. And to be fair, I'm not, I don't think I've practised anywhere near you know, they might have want to, but I don't watch any tuition anymore off anybody. I just don't. <laughs> if you they fry your brain, honestly, God, it's just adds, adds it's just, yeah, it. just I enjoy what I can what I can do, like like say to George there. Enjoying the swing. I can, yeah, I can, and enjoying the ability enjoying it, the skill set using yeah, the skill set. I can I can maybe get a bit of a fade on him, do you know what I mean? It's <laughs> <laughs> that's the love art. Yeah. Shot. Mate, that's gone further, isn't it? Well, I go, I go to that when, when I'm, when I'm struggling, especially with driver. I go to, I got all, all, all the troubles down the left. So if I'm not playing well, I can stand over it and let one go with a fade, and it goes, it just goes. It's, it's, it's you can trust it. all the time. Yeah, yeah. You can trust so, it. Awesome. But, but you know, before the first lesson, I couldn't do that. It's improved so much, oh, and yeah. your mindset and yeah. your confidence. Oh yeah, yeah, You're definitely. Like, yeah, because there's confidence behind what you're doing, and you're looking control. Mm. It's like I'm going to do, I'm going to draw it a bit more. Yeah. I just turn the face in, but you know what options you've got. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because you, you've practiced and you've tried them, you know what works for yeah. you, and you're exploring. So you're finding out. You're like four, way usually four or five holes before I get get into golf. Now I can, I can get on, I can get get on the first hole and get a par out of it. Yeah. yeah. What I got taught in the first lesson is. Still women, I want to still work on it. It's, 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 it's it feels better. like it feels like I was here last week. You know when I go to the range, it feels like I was here last week. It's that fresh in my mind. You know what I mean? Go to the range now and actually enjoy it. Pick spots out, have a go at bang bang. Just messing about with it. It's great. That's awesome. Yeah, it's good. I'm enjoying the the, the learning about my, me and my swing. Do you know what yes. I mean? Rather than trying to give it P this P five, yeah, trying to learn that. It's like when do I ever know when I'm in P five or not? Exactly. Do you know what I mean? I don't. So I don't. You didn't think about that on those two no, shots. No, exactly. Shot.
We'll get a crack it, we'll, we'll yeah. jump on the buggy and go down to the yeah, shop shall we? In game play here. But you'd be bumping it, would you? I'd be, but I'd bump it onto the, I'd bump it onto the edge and then just let it run out. Right, okay. That's why, I, you know. And for me, that just takes. Yeah, yeah. Takes a lot. Of, which club would you use? I'd go eight iron. Eight iron. Eight okay. iron, maybe nine iron. I mean, it's not a bad strategy, that. No, it's. But then, you know, you, you're struggling yeah. for, you're struggling for your up and down. Then from there, and then sometimes they come off, and sometimes it can be big. What you're doing is you. Your landing area is quite risky. Yeah. Because if you don't quite catch it, you're basically leaving it short because mm. you've not got a lot of green before your landing yeah, area. Yeah. You've got the fringe basically. Yeah, yeah. And if it hits the fringe, it's just going to stop. Stop, yeah. If you can pitch it a bit further up now, I mean, it's a bit, well, it's wet today, so it's going to stop a bit quicker, but that's what we want to do. See if we can pitch it up a bit further and control that spin. We want to get that spin control, so we want to make sure we're getting that ball turf. Have it up to the more to the flag. Yeah, maybe close the face a little bit. Don't need to open the face. Yeah, this is, this See, is that's, what that's what I get. Yeah, you that's I get a lot of that. This is what I want to look at. Yeah, I do. I do. That, that's the shot. That's that's the shot. Why I want to look at short game. You see. Just swing the club back and through in the air without hitting it without striking the ground like just that's it and just while you're doing this just looking at, at that flag looking where you want the ball to land just hold your finish notice where your pressure is in your feet yeah which oh. leg is it on left left okay right. now notice when you swing back and through now just do this with me notice the timing of when the pressure moves between the feet but don't look down Still look that way. What I want you to feel the feet without having to look at them. Just start here, though. If don't, we're going to do one swing every time. So we start here, and we're going to stop at the finish. You ready? And just feel the pressure through the feet. Swing the club. What's happening is this club is reacting to the forces that you create from the feet. So it's there. So the forces happen first, and the club reacts. And this takes quite a while to react because it's a lot further away. Does that feel different? Yeah. Like my legs are involved in it now. Yeah. Just play a couple of shots for us. Using that pressure shift. That initiates the swing back and through. Brilliant. <laughs> okay, now you can let the arms soften. Instead of having to try and control it, you can take the tension off the arms, but make a shorter swing. It can be a short swing and the club can flail and react more to your pressure. Oh. Okay, so that was more aggressive. The weight's still swinging, but it just so the flail is soft. Yes, that's it. It'll spin. There you Ooh. go. Look at that yeah. smile. <laughs> <laughs> didn't take long, did it? <laughs> yeah. Because you're already doing it with your full swing. Yeah, yeah. But with your short game, your shorter swing, it's easier to kind of control with tension, but one is just let it flail. Nearly. Yeah, so you've got the, the arms involved then. Yeah. It's trusting that the arms just swinging and reacting to the body. Yeah. Yeah not physically trying to use your arms to swing the club and control it and manipulate it. It's like there is, it's just a natural flailing action. Look at the grip and the club head. You've got this going on. This is affording you so much movement potential to play so many different shots. Yeah. Whereas if I do this, I've got like one shot. Yeah. Then we've got this and then we've got the direction we swing in. Suddenly it opens up. All sorts. Exactly. That's awesome off that line as well. Get it. Oh. Set that one. Feel different? Ball trees in trouble after this. <laughs> <laughs> Course record. Course record. <laughs> now, you can have that little shift forward with that pressure to help you go back. So a little pressure forward to go back and through. That's it. Now just make sure, Lloyd, after every swing, you just hold your finish. Yeah and watch that ball See where you are. from this finish. So the body gets used to the end of the swing, so yeah. it knows where it's going. Yeah. Otherwise, we never know where the end of the swing is. Yeah. What can happen, the ball can become the end of the swing. Right. The strike, it can be almost like, yeah. it ends up being like that. Right. As opposed to always committing to the full motion and striking the balls just somewhere back in the motion, yeah. further back, it's in the middle, somewhere. People try and sometimes set up left and stay left and do all this and that's okay 
but that's a bit static. That's yeah. like trying to throw a ball with your pressure on your left. It's like, yeah. I can't get that chain from the ground. That's nice, very nice. Well, I stopped that, didn't it? Yeah. The strike's giving you the spin. See, that, that now, that working on that now, I can, I feel like, whereas before I couldn't work on distance with these because I just not, you know, but now I feel like I can work on a specific shot, specific distance, but then when I'm 30 yards out, 50 yards out, I can work. Yeah, how far I'm gonna swing through we'll and do swing that. back. Yeah. We're gonna go closer, because yeah. what we're gonna do, <coughs> we're gonna go into a place where you've got to play lofted shots. With that now, I, I feel like I could get up and down, whereas before, it could be t could be three. You yeah. know, if I thin it over the back, it could yeah. end up being a four, or I could get up and down, but the, the, me getting up and down was a very low percentage of it. It's you changing see. your self-talk massively, yeah. Yeah. from being more negative to positive. Yeah. That's awesome, that Lloyd. Feel good? Oh, great then. Yeah. And that's the 54, isn't it? Yeah. So, let's just go and play some little tricky ones. This to me now, yeah. this will, could, could end up being four shots for me. Yeah. It's like... This is a card wrecker. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Now this is the exact same thing we've just been doing, yeah. just with a 58. Right. So, this is interesting mm. because quite often the shorter the shot the closer we get to the flag naturally we can start to think the less swing we need to make yeah but as we start to loft up as we open the face so you open the face then yeah you had more bounce more loft and your swing got shorter yeah it, it should be the opposite right so as you increase the loft you're gonna have to make more swing yeah. and this is the commitment right so have another go that's it that's trusting the swing <laughs> the difference yeah oh yeah yeah that's that's nice <laughs> It was awesome, wasn't it? Yeah. If you start losing your grip with pitching, it's like this isn't moving, so that has to give. Something has to move yeah. if something else isn't. And what's moving here is my fingers to, to let the club go, to get some swing. Whereas if you're using your wrist, your elbow, your shoulder freely, you still maintain connection with the club. That was awesome, because that lie wasn't nice. Look at that. Mm, sure. We don't want to be going for that release early. If, we've, if we're doing this all the time, yeah. it's over in a flash, isn't it? We don't have any time to do anything. We don't have any time to play any other shot. I've got to hope I strike it well, and that's yeah. all I can do. Whereas this is so different. I can play low, yeah. high. It's giving you time to adapt. So a bit further back now. Use that softer, longer flail. It's relaxed. Look at that. Different feel. Yeah, I've sat them all day long then. Oh, if I could get within 10 foot for me, 12 foot. This is kind of what? fills people with dread now even further back <laughs> so your landing area is essentially getting smaller your landing area only gets smaller if your ball's coming in lower yeah so what you were doing employing that method of a, a lower punch and run i mean you'd be stuck here anyway oh but, yeah we had this uh, but you're hitting you're coming in your landing area is so small to get see there's every chance i could go i could go there with this yeah go around the bunker yeah you know what i mean it's, damage limitation yeah 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 whereas so it's costing you and this is what's going to help you change your game plan to get that handicap down. So you can be a bit more free with that swing. Because, but you're free because you're using that tempo like with the step, 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 and it's that pressure shift that gives you the freedom. Brilliant. <laughs> now open the face a bit more. We don't need to get fancy to try and hit it, are you? We just open the face a bit. That's not going to start it miles right. It just gives you a bit more loft. And it's the pressure step step gives you the pressure shift. Yeah, look at that. It'll stop quicker. So, a bit more loft now gives you the chance to get go more for the flag. Yeah. Brilliant. Oh! <laughs> you can let that backswing flail a bit more now. Yeah. You can let this go because what's bringing it back Momentum. is that pressure shift, the step step. Yeah. So as long as you've got the pressure, this, this gets recoiled back. So you can let the flail go on the way back and it'll just react on the way through to the step step. That's perfect. That, right. that's, the best, that's the best one. That was yeah. better than the one they hit the flag with because you let the swing go more. Feel the difference between them. Yeah, I mean, I'm just feel it doing that now. Just, I've never felt that before, never felt that. You know, and, and when, the, when they're hitting the ground there, they seem like they're hitting in the same place. Yeah. Brilliant. 
Yeah. yeah. Nice. Awesome. Nice. Well done, mate. We'll, uh, we'll pick these up. Course. And then we're gonna. Oh, thank you very much. We're gonna. Um, we're gonna move back. Yeah. A bit further back. Yeah. Because we've got time. What time is it? If you love the coaching, but you're not able to get a lesson and want to experience the transformation for yourself, the closest thing you can do to get a lesson is by a Zen GRF Infinity training system and experience the same things that you're seeing my pupils go through in a lesson and a two hour download all the exercises that enable my pupils to tap into those forces and find their most natural efficient golf swing.